Hello everyone, this is Bacholi with Archeon. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a few tips and tricks about the Xenon Code IDE and more specifically the Node Editor. Let's say we have a build with some ailerons connected through a router and then a computer program to control them. These ailerons are given a different alias here. Uh, let's say we use the same prefix, but we just put a different number at the end. And we might want to control all of them simultaneously. Of course, we could use a data junction, but in this example, I'm going to show you how to do it with the alias system here. Okay, so here we have an output by alias, and we could use a-1 to refer to the first aileron, and we could use multiple of them, but we could also do a-star and it will send the same value to all the ailerons that start with a dash. Let's say we want the same value to always be outputted to these ailerons. We just want to hard code something. Of course, we could create a constant number and link it to that input, but we can also just type it in here. And then we can save with Control S, and that will just work. We can also use anything in there that's pure code, as long as we don't uh, use any input from the nodes. So we could do, let's say, uh, like a function, fract time, it will be the fractional of the time in seconds, and it will just move this way. We can also hard code zero, or just remove it completely, and it will not output to it. See, it doesn't generate any code for it. Now, what if we want to duplicate a node? We could copy paste it by selecting it. You can control click to select things or just select it with uh, dragging like that. Then you can do control C and control V, or you can do control D to duplicate the one that's selected. Of course, you can select multiple of them and duplicate them. You can select all and delete. Let's say you want to connect all of them. You can left click here to hold it and right click to connect multiple. You can quickly disconnect by double clicking on the input. You can have multiple IDEs open simultaneously. You can even dock them in the same window. When the code button is yellow, it means someone is already editing it. You can, however, still hit F on it, and you'll be opening it in read-only mode. So you cannot change anything. However, you will see in real time what the other user is doing. And if you, if you click Edit, then you'll take over, and the other will be in read-only mode. That'll be it for this video. See you in the next one.